Hi there, here's Kakako with a new Computercraft Turtle program for you. Finally! Well, it's been a long, long time, I know, and I would have a, quite a few topics I would like to talk about, but I guess you are primarily here for a new program, so I restrict myself to talk just about one topic per episode, I guess. Today we have the long overdue video for... Mm, wait... Ta-da! The 1000 subscriber special. Well, actually it's uh, a bit more at the moment. I want to use this video to say really a big, big thank you to all you subscribers, to, to all your nice comments, to, to the likes on the videos. This is really a big, big motivation for me and, and I want to give a special thanks to, to all my longtime subscribers. Well, you stayed subscribed even without new videos and well, also, this is true for, for the new subscribers. Well, you just subscribe to a channel with no new videos, so that's also a very nice thing. So, big, big thank you to you as well. And was, what is best to celebrate this? And, well, actually, today is also New Year's Eve. The best thing is to celebrate this uh, firework. Mm -hmm. First, I will show you the fire. We will watch the, the firework here in the, in the back. You probably can see already one or two turtles I prepared, and in total, there are four. Then I will show you how to use the program and at the end of the episode I would like to start a little poll. A poll about which of the three programs you would like to see in one of the following episodes. Okay, then let's first start with a quick view in one of the turtles. I prepared those four, they are ready to, to go and I just want to quickly mouse over the rockets here. So if you are interested in which rockets are used in detail, you can yeah kind of stop the, the, the video here. Uh, all turtles use more or less the same rockets, but will fire them in a, in a, in a yeah, kind of a coordinated uh, way. And each turtle requires 10 blocks of space in front as it will move up and down. 10 blocks. Okay, so to no day. Uh, so I guess a good spot to watch. Oops to watch the firework is here up in the tree and I'll wait until it is night. So we can watch the firework. See you. Okay, the sun is setting. We can now start the fireworks. You will see that the turtles fire first some yeah, slow, less intensive rockets. And then we will have increasing effects to a hopefully grand finale. Let's start the fireworks via RedNet. And enjoy!
All right, that was nice. And we were also a bit lucky with the creeper heads. Uh, depending on the angle, uh, you, you can see them better or, or not so good. Okay, then let's go to the demonstration part. And first step is always to download the program. Paste bin get and the code is where I've got the code here capital U Y M zero capital C C Q seven and the program name is T for tool fire works okay and when we start it without parameter we get five information strings yeah this program lets turtle display fireworks and you've got in total three options a to use a built-in fire sequence as we just have seen it uh, so you can reconstruct this sequence or b you can fire all rockets from its inventory automatically and randomly or and that's probably the most powerful option is to script your own fire and movement sequence and yeah i think there are, there are quite quite some some even more impressive fireworks possible then how to start it execute the program with two parameters the first parameter specifies the waiting time in seconds before the program starts so that you have enough time to to get away from the dangerous uh, fireworks and the second parameter either calls a built-in sequence or your custom sequence so it might look something like T fireworks, wait two seconds, and then one, two, three, four, three, two, one. Built in sequences there's the sequence S0, S1, S2, S3, S4. S0 has the same sequence as the others without pauses, and S1 and S4 you can use for yeah, the firework as we have just seen it with four turtles, up to four turtles. The turtles need space, 10 blocks to move for those sequences, and which, which numbers are required rocket wise. In slot 1 you need 1 rocket, in slot 2 you need 10 rockets, 3, 10 and so on and so on. And for your information, first the turtle fires from the lower slot numbers, slot number 1, 2, 3 and so on. This means if you want uh, more intense uh, fireworks at the end, then the, the later rockets should have more, more effects on them. Then B, random fire sequence. If you run it with the second parameter capital R underscore all then it fires all everything it has in a, in a random pattern this we will try out and see the most powerful thing is the customized sequence uh, you can build your own string without any spaces and the turtle will execute each character after another and what characters are allowed all numbers and a b c d e f those will fire a rocket from the respective slot. Slot number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 is the 0 and then A, B, C, D, E and F. If the sequence has a P, then the turtle pauses for one second. With a capital F or capital B, the turtle moves one block forward or backwards. And probably at the end of the program, you might use a small r, then the turtle returns to the starting position. That's for the info part. Now let's experiment with the random part. I've got a little few rockets. I think I've got here some, some more for testing. Yes. So let's try out the random pattern. T firework, wait two seconds, random all. And the first, with well, the first try, I stay in the turtle UI. It waits two seconds and then shoots the rockets. And we can also. Have a look 
how it two seconds. So it's a nice and easy way to yeah to to display fireworks. Mm, then how to program your own sequence? Let's just take a few rockets. I think four different should be okay. Uh, again, waiting time two seconds and then uh, how to start. Let's say we fire first one rocket from slot number one, move forward one, fire one, move forward, fire one, pause and fire two times number one. Maybe we move then backwards, fire two times number two, forward three, forward three, return to starting position and fire the last rocket from number four. Okay, how does this look like? Oh, that wasn't so, so difficult, I think. Okay, so we've got the grand grand firework we've got the demonstration now the final thing i promised at the beginning of the episode is uh, the little poll about three programs uh, where you can vote in the comments which one you would like to see in one of the next episodes and in i, I think in the meantime i know which kind of programs you guys like most or well taste is different of course but uh, which kind of programs most of you likes like uh, the first thing and I think all three are, are quite interesting uh, the first thing is a harvesting program uh, which I use yeah for quite a while I would uh, optimize it and adapt it to the current uh, yeah, watering uh, radius that's it's still still a three radius here and yeah this would would be a helper for harvesting crops the first the first candidate the second candidate would be an updated automated building of the mob farm I actually I use this program only yeah kind of half halfway and do the rest on my own uh, I would in the in the second version I would make it much quicker in building and I would include some more options like a three high spawning chamber without water channels and maybe I include some some kind of conveyor belts or so some 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 more useful options so the second candidate would be a mob build mod farm version 2 and the third candidate well we are here in a sky factory map uh, I cannot show it here uh, the third candidate would be my mining program. I use this program uh, well in all my Minecraft worlds, and it's well, well there are quite a few nice um, programs out there, tunnel tunnel digging programs. Uh, but I use a different approach with turtles digging down, a kind of a, a, a drill drill program uh, where they make uh, two by two holes and getting all yeah all ores from from every every height level that I think this is also some something useful and the program can be used with and without um, ender chests okay so three programs to choose from harvest program mob farm version 2 or my mining program hmm I think I haven't forgotten anything or oh, I hope after such a long period hmm, I hope so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video after this uh, yeah, short break of myself and yeah hope you try out the video if you oh if you if you do your own videos uh, f please feel free to to link your videos of, of some fireworks you use I, I would be really interested in seeing what what you can create with the the custom fireworks would be really nice okay then I think I say goodbye Hope you have enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.